Jack says, um, there are no classics this year. I mean, uh, there hasn't been a true classic on the mainstream since Sickle Mode, underground-wise, from a king to a god. I like those yeah. uh, picks. And yeah, Astro World is definitely a mainstream classic. Okay, so this is what... So this is the conversation I was about to have before you made the comment, and we kind of sidebarred, and then we can kind of go to something else next and, like, finish up our topics and slide, you mm -hmm. know, if we need to. Right. Classics get built out differently in every era. So let's go to 85 and 90. Here's what your classics look at. Your classics look like a Radio LL Cool J, uh, Peyton Full, uh, By Any Means Necessary, Criminal Minded, Greatest Adventures of Slick Rick, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back. Those are what your classics look like in that era. You get what I'm saying? They have a certain type of sound and a certain type of feel to them. Now let's go to like 1990 to like 1995. It's like well, everything's all over the place, Mike. I mean, you got the Chronic, you got the Low End Theory, you got Into the Wu Tang, you got Illmatic, you got Ready to Die, you got Southern well, Playlist. Well, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's kind of put that in a little bit context. I think that in that era, you're starting to see the evolution of hip hop artists really starting to make album albums in more of a sense where you got skits things are lining up you got themes that are coming with it the subject matter is is more vast than it was in the previous era but it's like it's more of a it's kind of like with the 60s and the albums that we were getting in the 60s where it was more about the songs the hit songs and in the 70s you get more conceptual pieces of work, like songs in the key of life, okay, things like that. You know what I mean? No, that's what ninety to ninety five is. Ninety six, I would say, it's like. That no, that, that's fair. So here's how I'm trying to frame this: is is that like, well, <clears throat> the low end theory and into the Wu Tang, Mike. They sound, they sound literally nothing like it takes a nation of millions to hold us back and pay in full. Right. You feel me? Two different eras of classic material. Right. And so when you're rating something as a classic, it's like, well, you have to understand, well, part of the reason why I hold Illmatic and Equimini and the Purple Tape and Doggy Style. No, because it's like, well, there are classics and then there are the type of classics that don't have any skips. And that type of thing is going to hold itself over the course of time if you make an album like that. But here's the reality of the matter is, is that... That album is harder to make now because hip hop scope is so much bigger than what it used to be. Like nobody's coming out and making an Illmatic anymore, Mike. That's why Good Kid Mad City was so important to me. I was like, man, I was like, somebody can still make an album that sounds like that in these days and times. It's like Illmatic like, like that project kid coming out of the project and explaining everything in such an articulate and intelligent way without losing any of the street in it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, it's hard to do. That's why I hold Good Kid Mad City so high. That's super hard for him to pull off in modern day times. And so I'm going to rank that classic higher about the pull off. And so it goes like to errors and then it goes to like the replay ability of the album. Now, Good Kid Mad City. Oh, it's great. Now, let's go right back to my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. and Let's go song for song. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I love me. I, I play Good Kid, Mad City more than I play my my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. I do not have it fucked up. It's not a better album. I just like it more because of the feeling that it gives because I look for those feelings because they're so few and far in between in hip hop. But I don't have it twisted like it's not better. My beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy has classic shit all over it from beginning to end and yeah. plays better from beginning to end. Yeah. Understand the difference. So my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is closer to Illmatic than Good Kid Mad City to even pray to be, even though Good Kid Mad City feels more like Illmatic. I think you like really? the uh, the high level rapping from the main artists on Good Kid Mad City as well. Yes. Like right, backseat freestyle, bitch don't kill my Yeah, real. Like, yeah, it's high level rapping from a front man. Yeah. And see the thing with Kanye, man, like where he lacks in skill. He's going to give you in feel, not to rhyme or anything, and he's going to give you in perspective. And the things that he's saying on Power and the things that he's saying on Dark Fantasy and uh, Gorgeous, like niggas who got 10 times his skill don't say. 
Right. When he said, and what's a black beetle anyway? A fucking roach? I guess that's why yeah. they got me sitting in fucking coach. My guy told me I need a different approach because people looking at me like I'm sniffing coke. It's, it's not, not funny, funny anymore. anymore. Try different jokes. <laughs> Tell them hug and kiss my ass. X and O. And kiss the ring Whoa, while you at like, it. Play strings we, for the dramatic. Get up on that wax shit. Act like I ain't act got like a belt I ain't had three a belt class. two classics. Come on. <laughs> Mike, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fuck your rap if skills. If you ain't when got it, I want it. I'm going after whoever who has, who it. has it. I'm going after who who has yeah. it. You're blowing up. That's you know, cool. That's fantastic. fantastic. That's personality, that's man. It's like that, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I don't really give a fuck about it at all. I don't know if double down the in the room. That tried to blackball me, forgot about two things. My black balls, Mike. That's better than almost every rap album that's come out the last 10 years. Like, you understand, like, the first few songs of my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, that's almost better than everybody's rap album the last 10 years. So it's and like the thing people is, like, well, what does a modern day classic sound like? It's like, well, listen to my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy and go ahead and start lining your shit up. It's like, like, because you be 10 songs into that record and your shit's not even close. Like, I'll tell you what's not close to that. Like, as much as I love Astro World, no. Yeah, no, no, you're right. It's no. not. And you know, no. the, the funny no. thing is, even when we pulled out that bar right there, we Victory couldn't just, we no. couldn't cut it out. Like we couldn't just say like four bars and stop it. We had no, to continue you the bar. Going, Mike. That's what happens. That's what when Kanye it's does. That's what I'm saying. When it's special, yeah. you don't just talk about it. It's like, yo, you remember when he said? No, he said this, and it. No, that's when it's that's when it's there, Mike. And we get very few albums like that. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. I mean, Mike. You don't think Pray for Paris or Magic or Alfredo is better than my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, do you? No, no. Exactly. No, no. And, you know, I know Dumb and Down was going back and forth with us on the Patreon about this whole Talib and Kanye thing. That right there is the difference. Like, Talib is skilled as he is. He can't give you bars with that kind of personality that we just quoted. And, Mike, and like, those are, things, those are intangibles, Mike, man. Gorgeous. Like, right. you know what, it's, it's a lot of basketball players who are more skilled than Draymond Green, but they can't give you what Draymond Green gives that team on the court. It is what it is. Skills Mike, ain't everything. Probably, I'm sorry. It's probably, Mike, it's the only song that I've ever heard where Raekwon has a feature verse and the song is still a classic if Ray doesn't take his verse. Yeah. It's the only Raekwon feature song like that where it's like, oh, well, that shit's still a classic if Ray's not on Mad Max of the Super Chat says, and Nas isn't underground, because uh, I don't know, a lot of y'all in the chat are treating him like he's MF Doom or Rock Marciano or Ransom. Wow. wow. <laughs> Jay Short of the Super Chat wow. says, Scarface doesn't rap. He um, he addresses and or uh, orates. Uh, we got 5-4. The Hero says, uh, 93 to Infinity is not mentioned enough as a classic. One of my all-time favorites. Love Those it. Are Yep, love that record. Love that album. Um, uh, record. CJ Kid with the Super Chat says, uh, do you guys take in a uh, general, uh, what is this, uh, general consensus when um, stating your statements? Example, Gangstar has four classics to the community, but you only consider Step in the Arena and um, Moment of Truth as classic. Yeah, general consensus definitely matters. I think we're, it matters. We're not authority we're of anything. We're just to talking. <laughs> no, to quote Gangstar, you know, we have certain formulas, but we have to update our formulas with the time. And so I think what we're really in the process of doing is updating the formula. And what I'm saying is, is, is that if you feel like Gangstar has four classic albums, well, you're more entitled to feel that way. But I tell my daughter all the time, feelings aren't facts. Mad Max and feeling that way don't make it factual. The music is what makes it factual. And factually, when you listen to Step Into the Arena and the moment of truth, you hear a certain level in the beats and in the rhymes and in the style and the way the song's coming together that's not even on a daily operation. Where you could say that, okay, this one's clearly the better album and it's not as debatable. Right. Yeah. And, and, if, and not all classics are created the same because to be honest with you, it's like Step Into, step into the Arena for me is just hitting classic status, whereas like Moment of Truth is just like, oh, that might be a top twenty rap album type of classic. There's well, like different... they were saying, Magic and Illmatic. I mean, they're not. 
Uh, yeah, like like uh, yeah, man. like we got yeah. number one. Like how about this? We got a top. We got we got number one versus like number eighty. Yeah, Mad but Max Rat- says, "Oh, and Ransom, uh, the uh, Ransom, the EP is fire. He is lyricist of the year. Sauce Walker, uh, the new Scarface and Symbol projects uh, with drama was very dope as well. We got to talk about that on Friday. Yeah, since yeah, we're going to talk do. music on Friday." 